Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today, we're reading for December 1st through the 15th, 16th for my Tauruses. Hello, my Tauruses. Well, this is my longer reading, so I'm using four, four <laughs> decks of cards. I'm using my Redley Valentine Angel Tarot cards. Um, gives me that main message. Then I go to my John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards for kind of filling in those little gaps. Then I go to my Osha Zen Tarot cards. I ask for advice. And then we finish up with one card from my Radley Valentine Archangel Power Tarot cards because I did that last month and I liked it. So remember, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all decks with Reiki energy, but remember this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest, okay? Okay. Interesting energy. I'm going to recap a little bit of November and then we're going to go into the go a little bit into December. I will post that website that I like. I mean, I get information from a lot of different websites, but I like this one that I post in my community page, also Facebook. I like this one because it kind of consolidates um, the what I've been reading. So I really enjoyed this. I'll post this in my community page too for Sagittarius. So November 21st, Mercury is going direct. Remember, there's the 14 days following that it's like Mercury direct light. It's kind of like it's trying to get back to where it started from. But this is all about the universe. Again, this last year has been, to me, Mercury retrograde has it been about the universe righting wrongs, okay? But still, don't buy electronics, <laughs> okay? Okay. Then, the 22nd of November, we start Sagittarius season. Sagittarius season is going to be about hope and light and, and just rejoicing and being alive again. Then we go to the 26th of November, partial, I mean, I'm sorry, new moon in Sagittarius. The 12th of December is the full moon in Gemini. Now, this to me, and you know, this to me, this is my gut feeling with Gemini, with this full moon. This is about kind of like wrapping things up and yet taking a risk. This is like rolling the dice and playing them where they land, okay? It's a calculated risk. It's a calculated gamble, but and it's something that's like, you know what? I'm putting it all down and I'm going to take that gamble. And I do think it's got good odds. Now, from that website, I'm going to just read this is again. Remember, they said, okay, December 7th, major karmic date with destiny. The window begins 8th of November through the 14th of December. The intense zone will be the 22nd of November, and that's when Sagittarius begins through the 7th of December. So it's interesting that the window, even though we had that 1 1, you know, the 1 1 1 1, and so it began on the 8th, so a couple of days before that, and it's going to end like two days after that full moon. Now, so it's really an important time. It's really strong, strong energy. Okay, let's go ahead now and see what we have for my Tauruses. Let's go on. I'm going to use my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards. Main message. <laughs> the cards love to fall. They love to fall on me. There we go. Oh, we got three cards. Okay. Okay, it's amazing my hair doesn't get messier. Okay, here we go. Three cards, make sure there's nothing else down there. Three cards, face down. The third card is reverse, strong energy. Remember, I'm an intuitive channeler, so my higher power comes, speaks through me, and it pops out, and many times, yeah, well, no filters, because if I had a filter, I wouldn't say what I want, what, what comes out, okay. Three cards face down. Let's see what we have here. First card is the Nine of Fire. Fire is our Sagittarius energy. We're in Sagittarius for this reading. It's also our Aries and Leo, passionate burning. Nines, endings. Okay, nines are about endings. Remember, tens transition and ones are new, okay? So this is like pulling it all together, getting ready, wrapping it up, getting, you know, getting it out there. But this is who I, I call her the dragon tamer or the dragon slayer. She stands up for herself. And this is whether you be male or female, okay? Masculine or feminine. 
this person embodies strength. So does that mean that you're going to have some, maybe some, some, some stuff that comes, you know, where you have to stand up and be strong? Yes. But will you be able to? Oh, you definitely will be able to, my Tauruses. You definitely, this is going to be you standing up and you standing in your power. You saying, this is the way it's going to be, you know, having, taking control over your life. Um, you know, I just, I just feel, you know, you can hear me now talking, you know, it's like, whoa, this is totally whoa for my Tauruses. Don't give up. Protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. Now that protect that which you've created is kind of giving me the sense that somebody may try to take your idea, take what you've done, um, claim it as theirs. You make sure that you've done whatever it is. So if you're putting something out, on, say on YouTube, there's a set, there's a place where you can do a copyright. Copyright it, okay? Um, if there's something that, you know, you're doing on the computer and there's like a program that you, you know, put in a, put in something that it can't, you know, like put in a, um, a lock on it, okay? Do whatever you can to protect your work, okay? Okay. Next card, the Knight of Earth. Earth is your energy, okay? It's also Capricorn. It's also Virgo. It's very directional. And this is about, so here, this, whatever this is, it's lit, it's lit a fire under you. It has lit a fire under you, and you're like, heck no, I, this is what I want. This is where I'm going. This is, you know, uh, okay, so if this is, uh, any of this could be with your relationships. You know, it's usually more your work, job, career, or your intimate or personal, but it could be family too. But this is heck no, so there could be, you know, you may be put in a place where you're, you know, where you're just like, no. Uh, maybe there's a promotion, uh, maybe there's a, maybe there's something that you're going for and you're like, you know, and somebody's trying to slide in, slide in, you know, and kind of rest on your laurels and it's like, no, no, no. Um, so here's the fire, here's the passion, and here is the work that you're going to put into this. Here is you being very directional and you just saying, uh, uh, uh. And you achieving, you know, because this is also, besides this being your energy, it is about money. It is about solid energy. And it is you achieving it, not letting whatever this is undercut you. Because I feel like, you know, you will be strong, but it's like, I feel like somebody, somebody, something, someone might try to undercut you. But you are like, no. So my Tauruses, your bull comes out. Your bull comes out and you're not going to, uh, uh, uh. They're, ra they're waving that red flag and you're, you're like, you're really interesting because part of you is like, you want me to rush that. You want me to go after that. I'm going to play it smart. So loyal, dedicated, honorable, and kind. Time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments, a guardian angel. Always reach out. Higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine, whoever that is. Your last card, this one is reversed. The two of air. Again, this is that conflict type of energy, okay? The thing about this is, you know, so this is where you might start second guessing yourself. Two is a duality number. Air is our Aquarius, our Gemini, our Pisces, I mean, I'm sorry, our Gemini, our Libra energy, thought processes, information received, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, okay? And this might be, you know, I mean, so, well, you know, it's not, you're not, it's not, my Tauruses, you can stand up for yourself. You have that strength, but afterwards it kind of makes, it kind of, you kind of feel um, sometimes deflated by it. You sometimes second guess yourself. You're like, oh, should I have said that? Should I have not said that? The thing about, remember, the thing about this card is, yes, it is okay for you to stand up. So, yeah, so this time I really feel like you are going after something that matters to you, that matters to you. My only caution is don't let your mind think so much about it, okay? Don't don't make your mind second guess you. That happens with my Tauruses. You know, I love my Tauruses so much, and your strength of purpose is like it is there. And then in the still of the night, this is where you wake up and you're like, okay, should I have done that? Or it's in the future, you know, maybe it's that day. I'm a little worried about this. Chill. It'll be okay. 
So, being unable or unwilling to make a decision, a stalemate, pretending there is no problem. Again, it's more of a mind thing. I do, you know, it's a mind game. It's a mind game. And the thing, too, I would be, uh, you know, it, there could be an air sign, one of those Aquarians, Libras, Geminis, that are kind of, you know, they know how to push your buttons a little bit. Just, but with that being said, you have the dragon slayer here, and you've got your energy, and it's like, nope, maybe I'm going to have some, you know, maybe I'm going to lose a little bit of sleep, but you're not going to do it to me. I will persevere. Okay, so John Holland, Psychic Tarot and Oracle Cards for my Tauruses. Can you fill in some of these gaps? Can you kind of give us a little bit more information? Well, you can, because we're going to pull for you. Let's go on in. One, two, and three. Face down. Let's see. First card. Yes. Reverse card. Strong message. Universe has your back. You will be where you need to be. It is basically, this is again that time where destiny, you know, date with destiny. This is, the universe has your time, has your back. This is more the natural this is more the supernatural, okay? Your next card is discontentment and boredom. And this is just, you know, you, 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 you don't want, you don't want this any, you know, you don't want what's, um, okay, how do we put this? You want what you're going to fight for, okay? You want what you're going towards and you feel passionate about. Okay, you don't want to stay where you're at in any of this. And this is any of those types of, you know, relationships. Now, I'm not saying that you are going to quit your job or get a new job. I mean, if that's what you want to do, go for that. Or that you're going to break up with a relationship um, that's personal or intimate, unless that's what you want. I'm saying that you want it to go into something more. You want something more about this. So your last card here. Again, reversed your third eye chakra here. This is energy points in your body, and this is about following your intuition. And my, my Taurus is, we know, you are strongly intuitive. You're strongly psychic. You're, you, know, you know things that people just don't understand how you know, but you know things, okay? So this is follow your gut, and also this is about, you know, having faith, okay? having faith in yourself and in the universe too. So again, you know, like I said, this is, this is, there's going to be, there's going to be something that you're going to be fighting for. You're going to be fighting for, but having that connection with that higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine, helps you to have that download and helps you to move forward. Okay? So whatever you're going to fight for, I do feel like you're going to win it. Now, let's see my Osha Zen tarot cards for any words of advice. For my Tauruses. Okay, that one almost came. Okay, you came out. Okay. Well, that's a good card. I did see it, so it's really face up. It it once, you know, it faced up and then it flipped out again. So let's go here. Okay, oh, okay, two cards. I kind of saw them. I don't remember. They were bleh. okay. Your first card, the one that really flipped out, success. Success. So even though you have some feelings, even though someone's playing with your head a little bit again, or that you're not getting some sleep. It does. You move forward into that. You. This is on top of the universe card, which is on the top of don't give up card. Okay? So this is success. Believe in your success. Believe in it. Okay? Picture the outcome with this. Believe in your success. Your next card is creativity. Okay, so this is, you know, to me, this the, the colors are beautiful with this card. There's the moon. There's all of these, you know, there's there's like the earth. There's the, um, you know, the, there's water. There's air. Um, you know, I like these little circles are air, either that or they're snails. I'm going to go with air. And, you know, and then is there fire? Well, who's to say that there's not fire in this card? Just because. So this is you, um, you know, you being... You know, 
the third eye chakra. This is you thinking maybe, you know, I know we hear this about thinking outside the box. This is you um, pulling in that creative child, okay, or pulling out that creative child. This is you, you know, um, I, it's almost like you between this and this, it's almost like you, uh, almost like you channeling, you you connecting so much with whatever whatever this higher power is, and it's like you just present it. You just present it. Okay, your last card, again reversed. Morality, okay, this is about, you know, be careful about being too judgy, okay? Too judgy about yourself or too judgy about others. When whoever and whatever this is, um, it will help you if you are generous, if you forgive, okay? It literally will help you. So if, you know, it will, if you are, if you don't hold them, you know, don't let, let the universe judge them. You don't need to do that. Okay. Okay. So let's go on. So be careful about this because my Taurus says you can stand, you can take that high, you can, I don't want to, you can, you know, you can have, you can be very, you can be judgmental. Everybody can be. This isn't the time. This is a this is kind of a cautionary time because if you judge harshly, it will, you know, at this time with destiny, it will come back to you and you will be judged harshly. That was like, yeah. Okay. So my Archangel Power Tarot cards, Radley Valentine. What else can we tell my Tauruses? My Tauruses. My Tauruses. What else? Okay. Also, too, something about the, the new moon. Just be aware. New moon is about, okay, you know, releasing, and the new moon is about requesting. Okay. Card, one card, face down. The Emperor. Archangel Uriel. This is stability and efficiency, taking charge of a situation, kind of what we were talking about ambitious plans things are going to come together for you you're going to go work you're going to be going towards that you're going to fight for what you want so does this mean that you know i mean so so this is you having to you know just basically take in charge taking charge really what it's saying okay stability and efficiency taking charge of a situation ambitious plans archangel uriel the emperor very strong, strong, strong Archangel Power Tarot cards for you, my Tauruses. So, my Tauruses, if you enjoyed my reading, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and click on that little bell. But as always, my Tauruses, know that you are loved, and be blessed. Bye-bye.